Some scientists are looking at making use of light at far slower speeds. And then we have the uh, AOs over here. They're pretty much all functioning now. At her lab on the campus of Harvard University, Dr. Lena Howe has taken slow light to the extreme by reducing light speed to zero. The speed of light, of course, is uh, incredibly high. I mean, nothing goes faster than light. And, uh, you know, the usual 186,000 miles per second. And we kind of thought, gee, that's awfully high. Let's, let's try to do something about it. So we have a detector right there. Howe and her team conducted their experiments in a complex laboratory filled with lasers, mirrors, prisms, and other exotic gear. It is a branch of physics where few have dared to tread. If you can start to change things so dramatically as, as taking this enormous light speed and then bring it down to bicycle speed, that then you're in a completely new regime of nature. You're able to now start to probe areas, regions of nature where nobody has ever been there before. The brakes are put on light speed inside Howe's lab by focusing lasers on two microscopic clouds of sodium gas chilled to a few billionths of a degree above absolute zero. A control laser hitting the two clouds sets them up for action. Then, a quick light pulse shoots into the first cloud, where it is squeezed into the gas and slowed to just a few miles per hour. The light pulse uh, goes from being about one kilometer long in free space, it compresses like a concertina as it enters the atom cloud, and ends up being only 0.02 millimeter in size. That's less than half the thickness of a hair. So really small, and it's so small that the light pulse actually ends up fitting totally inside the atom cloud. Howe says the atomic imprint of light in the sodium cloud is a perfect copy, embedded in atoms, of the original light pulse. It can then be stopped in free space between the two clouds before moving on. When it enters the second cloud, another shot of the control laser expands it to its original size, shape, and speed of 186,000 miles per second. It is comparable in some ways to a science fiction transporter that sends people or objects through space. So in these experiments, what we really do is we stop and extinguish a light pulse in one part of space and revive it in a completely different part of space and send it back on its way. Since light can carry information, this super advanced technology points the way to futuristic light-based computers that bypass wires and electronic chips. Information read directly from light may be faster, more compact, and more secure than anything we have today.